every office holder from local councilmen all the way up to the President of the United States is supposed to take an oath to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States and they call upon Almighty God to witness what they say is truth. Do you really believe that they are doing that? Thank you very much for watching. I don't want to question you. Office holder. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The American Free Press on February 22nd says that Congress is trying to provoke war with Iran. Now, what happened was on January 28th, uh, the Senate passed a bill uh, which authorized all kinds of sanctions against Iran. And, of course, this is, uh, according to Pat Buchanan, who ran for president, this is considered an act of war. Cutting off a country's oil or gas is a proven path to war. It happened in 41, 1941, when the United States cut off the oil to Japan. Japan then had to go to Indonesia and invade Indonesia to take over their oil. And the war was on, on in the Pacific, and eventually they, uh, uh, we, we collided with Japan in World War II. Also, Egyptian President Gamal Abdel Nasser threatened to shut down the Gulf uh, between the Ritz Sea and the Gulf of Aqaba would have cut off 95% of Israel's uh, oil supply. And, uh, of course, Israel had a pre preemptive strike. And, uh, of course, I think other countries were joining with it. Same article. And it's saying that uh, uh, this was a cause of war. So to cut, cut off the uh, source of oil for a country is really a, a path to war. Now, to make sure that nobody knew how... knows could find out how the senators voted, they voted by roll call, by vo voice vote rather. And by voice vote, you, you don't record the, the votes. So I called our senator and uh, they said, well, no, they didn't ha he didn't vote, it hasn't passed, he didn't this, he didn't that. Finally, I said it passed according to this article in the American Free Press and that uh, it was uh, passed by a voice vote. I said, how did the senator vote? And they said, we have to call Washington, D.C. So you get a runaround. I'd like, I'd like you to try calling both of our senators and find out how they voted, whether to go to war with Iran or not. And uh, on the same idea of uh, oil, uh, President Obama is against offshore drilling of oil for our country. Yet he signed an executive order to loan $2 billion of taxpayer money to Brazilian oil exploration company, which is the eighth largest company in the entire world. Now, the oil comes from, uh, for the, well, the oil that comes from it will use for, uh, the oil that comes from it will be used solely for China, not the United States. And the real clincher is, uh, we're paying for the uh, exploration. Well, we have nothing to gain from it. But here's something even more interesting. The largest individual stockholder of this Brazilian oil company would be none other than billionaire George Soros. I got this off the internet. And if anybody wants this, I could give you the, the link to it. But it's pretty doggone long to uh, uh, just to keep put on the, uh, on the YouTube. So thank you very much for watching. And oil is very important for countries. It causes wars. And if we don't keep an eye on what's going on and hold our senators because they're supposed to be working for us accountable, we better find out what's going on because we're going to be going to a third war and uh, maybe a world war. Also ask your uh, state representative how he will vote on this thing. I mean, your state uh, congressman, your local congressman. Thank you very much and have a nice day.